What's up, everybody on Twitter or internet, wherever it says this is a Patriot Pastor 14 or Preacher. Um, I did a 10 part post today, and I really think that my fellow Americans need to hear it. Um, I felt led to do it. You want to know what's wrong in our country right now, why this stuff is happening. I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to just bear with me here. I am going to read from the Bible. Now, modern day society says, oh, the, the Bible is a book of fairy tales. It means nothing. It was written by men. It's not the one true word of God. Um, that is 110% false. If that were true, then how come things talked about in the Bible are happening today? If that were true, through the courses of history, of things that have happened to countries, especially what our country is going through right now, is completely being ruined, how come similar incidences are talked about in the Bible and tells us why they are happening? Bear with me here. We're going to go to Proverbs chapter 29, verse 1 through 2. But first, I want to start with the first post or the first part of the 10 part post, and it says Twitter sermon Our government system is corrupt. Our country is falling apart. Our country's values are fading. In Proverbs chapter 29, verses 1 through 2, it says, He that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. When the righteous are in, a, listen to this, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Pretty accurate, right? Look at our country right now. Going on, part two. We may not be able to stop the fall. The most important thing, we the people can do what we need to do. Part three is do what our government is not doing. What our country is not doing. What we the people need to do is turn back to God. Part four, America as a nation. Our country needs to turn back to God. We the people need to let God lead us again. Part five, this nation, this country was declared dedicated to God. The foundation built on biblical values. Part six, do you see them now? I'm going to stop there real quick. Honestly, ask yourself, From and I understand there's a dark history to our country. There is. I admit, I admit that. But there's a lot of good that came from this country. One of the main, main things I love, our first president went to a church and prayed. Almost every single day he prayed. And just to let you know, this country was founded, declared a nation under God, and a church in New York City that still stands today on ground zero. Now ask yourself, from where we went from where, where that was in that point in time to where we are now, it's not just because cultural change, it's not because of technology. It's because we the people have let this change happen. We stepped away from our values and we're seeing the repercussions of it. Going on here. No, they they, they are fading. Is it all the government fault? No, we the people let it happen. Part seven. What we are seeing is what happens when a nation turns from God. For example, Israel turned from God, part eight, many times, and were scattered and ruined. But listen to this. But when they turned back to God, they go from ruined to renewed. Let me read that part again. But when they turned back to God, they went from ruined to renewed. Part nine. Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, and it says this. If my people, which are called by my name. Now, th this is talking about Israel. But God created us all. Any people. Okay. If my people, which are called by my name, we are called a nation under God. I still believe that today. It may not show it, but I still live that. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So going on, Second uh, Chronicles 7.14, read it, says, Humble ourselves, pray, seek God, and turn from our wicked ways. God will restore Part 10 and the end. America, we have a bad sin problem. We are living in it. 
We see its destruction. We need to repent. That's my message for my fellow Americans. We the people can still turn to God. If our government's not going to live righteously in God's eyes and not follow the biblical values we, we base this country on and seek God in everything that we do, then we the people can still do that. We the people can still do that in our in our cities, in our states, in our towns, in our neighborhoods. Turn back to God.